Hello everyone, my name is Comfort. Today I'm going to tell you a story titled Zuwa and the Magic Gourd. Tohyo, ya ya, bo. A very long time ago in a village in Africa, there lived a girl called Zuwa. She was an orphan who lived with her stepmother and her stepsister called Afatu. The stepmother and Afatu made Zuwa do all the work in the house and in the field. Late one evening, as Zuwa was about to sleep, her stepmother came into her room and yelled, Zuwa, how dare you sleep when there's no water for me to have a bath in the morning? Iye, mom, Zu said Zuwa, I will go tomorrow early in the morning to the river. No, the stepmother shouted, go and fetch the water right away. Zuwa ran to the river crying. At the river, she stopped to enjoy the beauty of the stars when suddenly her gourd slipped off her hands and went deep into the river without thinking twice. Zuwa took a dive into the river to look for the gourd. As soon as her feet touched the river bed, she was surprised to find herself in a small village. A very old woman came out of one of the huts. Zuwa knelt down to greet the old lady. What do you want here, my dear little child? The old lady asked. Wise one, I lost my gourd and I have come down here to search for it. Zuwa replied. Come with me, said the old lady. Zuwa followed her. She was shown a big hut full of gods, various sizes and colors and shapes, all yelling, take me, pick me, 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 yeah, pick me. Zuwa was at the, at first, she was confused. Then she saw one small god. This is mine, she said thankfully. Are you sure those golden colored ones are not yours, asked the old lady. They are not mine. Thank you, wise mama, said Zua. Zua was about to go away when the old woman stopped her. Listen carefully, my dear child. Take this little gourd in addition to yours. When you get home, go into your room, close the door and smash it and whatever you get from it is all yours. Do you hear me? Yes, wise man, Zua replied timidly. Then the old lady said some magic words and almost immediately Zua found herself on the surface of the river. She fetched her water with her own gourd and took it home along with the small gourd as instructed by the old lady. When she got home, she did as she was told by the elderly lady at the bottom of the river. When she broke the small gourd, her heart became filled with shimmering and priceless jewels. She ran to call her stepmother to come and see the wonder of the magic gourd, and she offered some of her wealth to them, to the stepmother and, and her stepsister. Her stepmother refused to take any of it. Instead, she decided to send her own daughter, Afatu, to the river. Afatu went to the river, drowned her gourd by force, swam after it, and found a little village at the bottom of the river. The old woman came out. Afatu yelled at her, old woman, I want my magic gourd right now. Show me where you have hidden it. She was shown the gods. They were all shouting, me, pick me, me, here, here, me, me, pick me. She saw her own god, but she ignored it. Instead, she fixed her eyes on a very big god that shouted the loudest. With her heart full of greed, she picked it up. Are you sure that is your god? asked the old lady. Of course it is, Afatu snapped back at her. The old woman gave her a little god, but she declined it but instead snatched another big god all by herself. She became very impatient to go away. The old woman helped her to the surface of the river by some magic words. Afatu did not have any word of thanks in her heart. She did not fetch any water with either of the gods with her. Instead, she ran straight home to her mother. 
together, they went into Afatu's hut, locked the doors, and they broke the two big gods. From the gods came all sorts of reptiles, wild animals, bugs, such as snakes, lizards, and poisonous spiders, which chased the two of them far into the jungle. They were never seen again. As for Zuwa, she used her newfound wealth to develop the village, and she and the village people lived in the community happily ever after. The end. Thank you for listening, everybody. Until next time, bye.